There are several useful dictionary methods. The first one is the clear method, which clears or removes all the items from a dictionary. There's the get method, which gets the value of the specified key, and if the key does not exist in the dictionary, then it returns the provided default value. There's an update method, which merges dictionaries from the calling dictionary to the dictionary that's passed to it as an argument, and existing entries with the same key in the original dictionary are overwritten by the dictionary that you're passing in. And there's also a pop method, which removes and returns the key value from the dictionary, and if the key does not exist, then the default provided value is returned instead. Let's try out some examples of these dictionary methods. In the following example, we have two dictionaries, states one and states two. State one has California, Michigan, and Florida as key value pairs using their two letters, state acronyms, and the full state name. And similarly with states two, we have Florida, Arizona, and New Mexico. And then we just print them out. So let's try out some common dictionary methods. Let's say states1.clear, and then print states1. That should remove all the items from states1, so we get an empty dictionary. We could also try states1.get, pass in a key, ca, and give it a default value, like unknown, if it's not there. Run the program. And it returns unknown because we cleared the dictionary, but let's get rid of that clear statement. Run it again, it should get California. But notice how the unknown seemed to fill in when it didn't find California. For example, we don't have a K for Alaska in there. That should give us unknown. But we do have FL for Florida, and that'll give us Florida. Let's try merging these states together. And before we do that, let's add a duplicate in there. Let's add California in there in the states two one. So it's when it merges it, let's see what happens if there's a duplicate. Okay, got it in there twice. Just to make sure that it's in there twice. Let's print it out. There's California in states one, California in states two. Let's try merging states one dot update states two. And then and then we'll print states1 and see what happens. So we get a combination of all the states, and it only has California in there once. It doesn't have a duplicate California in there. So it just got overwritten by the original value from the state that we updated from. So it just took California's original value and put it in there. And to remove a specific item from the dictionary, we can use the pop method. All right, let's remove all this. Go back to the original dictionaries. Let's just work with one dictionary right now, states one, to keep this simple. And it prints out, let's just get rid of one item. We can say states one dot pop, and we're gonna remove CA. And we can also add a default value, which will just get returned if it doesn't find CA. So we'll just say some other state. Okay, let's print states one. Okay, so this removed California. What if we were to remove Alaska from there? Nothing gets removed. And if we try to print out the statement, because this pop method returns a value, which we don't see because we're just calling it directly, but this will return out some other state because Alaska doesn't exist in there, but California does, so it prints out California instead. And that pretty much covers the common examples of dictionary methods. Check out the next video on how to iterate through a dictionary. Thanks for watching.